In this video, we are going to learn the basic concepts of profit and loss. Hi friends, welcome back to Math Simplified. Suppose you have a shirt and the cost price of this shirt is 200 rupees and you are going to sell it for 300 rupees. So, do you have a profit or loss in that process? So, let's find it out. So, first the CP that is the cost price of the shirt was 200 rupees and you sold it at 300 rupees. So, as you can see, which is greater here? It is SP. So, SP is greater than CP. In this case, it will be a profit and that is P. Gain is also another word that is used instead of profit. So, profit is equal to SP minus CP. So, here you have SP as 300 minus 200. So, here 100 rupees is the profit. Suppose you have another item, let's say a bag and the cost price of this bag was 200 rupees and you are going to sell it for 150 rupees. So let's write it down. So here CP is 200 rupees and the selling price is 150 rupees. So which is greater here? CP is greater. That means SP is less than CP. So in this case loss is made. So loss is written as L which is equal to CP minus SP. So here how much is the loss? 200 minus 150 that is 50 rupees. But what if the selling price and the cost price is same? You neither have profit nor loss. Now let's learn how to calculate profit percentage and loss percentage. Both profit percentage and loss percentage are calculated on CP. But why just CP? Because CP always remains constant no matter whether you have profit or loss. So profit percentage is equal to profit by CP into 100. And loss percentage is calculated as loss by CP into 100. As I mentioned earlier, there is another name for profit percentage, it is gain percentage. Now let's see some questions. Let's move on to this question. A man buys a cycle for rupees 1400 and sold it at a loss of 15 percentage. What is the selling price of cycle? So here, what is CP? CP is equal to rupees 1400 and the loss percentage is given so L percentage is equal to 50 so here you need to find the selling price of cycle so first let's find what is the loss you just know only the loss percentage so you know loss percentage formula is L by CP into 100 now you will substitute 15 is equal to loss by CP is 1400 into 100. Now you will cut two zeros here. So L is equal to 15 into 14. So when you multiply you will get 210 rupees. So you got the loss as 210 rupees. Now what is the formula for finding loss? L is equal to CP minus SP. So when you substitute the value of loss and CP here, you will be able to find the value of SP. So 210 is equal to 1400 minus SP. So SP is equal to 1400 minus 210 and that is equal to 1190 rupees. 
So this way you can find the selling price. Now let's move on to the last question. 100 oranges are bought at the rate of rupees 350 and sold it at the rate of rupees 48 per dozen. Find the profit percentage or loss percentage. So first you should identify whether this whole process made profit or loss and then we will find the percentage. So first let's see. The cost of 100 oranges is Rs. 350. So what will be the cost of 1 orange? It will be 350 by 100. So first you will write CP of 1 orange is equal to Rs. 350 divided by 100 and that is Rs. 3.5. Same way Let's find the selling price of one orange. So here it is sold at the rate of rupees 48 per dozen. Per dozen means there will be 12. So for 12 oranges the cost was 48 rupees. So what will be the selling price of one orange? It will be rupees 48 divided by 12 and that is rupees 4 you can see sp is greater than cp so profit is made so first you need to find the profit so p is equal to sp minus cp 4 minus 3.5 is equal to rupees 0.5 so now you will find profit percentage. So profit percentage formula is P by CP into 100 that is 0 0.5 divided by what is the CP? CP is 3.5 into 100. So this becomes 100 by 7. You can convert to mixed fraction. So it becomes 14 2 by 7 percentage. I hope the basics and methods of profit and loss and its percentages are crystal clear to everyone. Stay tuned for more videos. Till then bye and thanks for watching.